Hi, welcome to part two on the water episodes. In this episode, we will explain what the water is used for. So, what about water use in agriculture? The water used for agriculture, of course, depends on the country you're in, but globally, about 70% of all freshwater withdrawals are used for agriculture. That's a lot. But what causes this? Well, plants. Of course, they need water to be able to grow. But in general, agricultural water is used for irrigation, pesticide, fertilizer applications, crop cooling, for example, light irrigation, and frost control. But how do we measure this? Well, we use the so-called water footprint of a product. A water footprint is measured in terms of the volume of water consumed, evaporated, and polluted. There is, of course, a difference between blue water, which is fresh water, green water, which is rainwater, and grey water, which is water from your bathtub, for example. But we will not go too deep into this. This is an image of water requirements of certain products. Besides chocolate, we can see that the most impactful products are meat and dairy. But why is this? Consider the water footprint of beef. In an industrial beef production system, it takes on average three years before the animal is slaughtered to produce about 200 kilograms of boneless beef. The animal eats about 1,300 kilograms of grains, like wheat and other small grains, 7,200 kilograms of roughages, dry food like hay, uses 24 cubic meters of water for drinking, and 7 cubic meters of water for servicing. This all translates into 3,100,000 liters of water in total, or 15,500 liters to produce 1 kilogram of beef. This still excludes the amount of polluted water that may result from the use of fertilizers in the feed crop field or from cow manure reaching the water system. To be able to compare this value, avocados require 1,200 liters of water per kilogram on average and apples only 700. In general, we can conclude that water use declines in the following order, meat, dairy, nuts, fruits, and eventually vegetables. The huge amount of water required for chocolate is due to the fact that cacao beans require so much water and that there are so many cacao beans required to make 100 grams of chocolate. But there is hope. In late 2014, Mars Chocolate opened a new wastewater treatment plant, the first of its kind in Europe. The methane technology they use purifies 99% of wastewater through a biological process, while the biogas released generates energy to help power the on-site chocolate factory. This again shows that scientific solutions for difficult processes might be on the rise. Are you curious about the steps you should take to lower your water footprint? Well, stay tuned for our final episode. Bye!